Hey everybody, today I want to do a video on how I hook up my laptop to my BVM. I use a sync processor called the Xtron RGB 203 RXI. What this box does is it takes any sync signal and it converts it into whatever you want. For example, I have here a RGB HV signal and I can output it as an RGB S signal, which is what usually a BVM would take. So let me just show you the back, what it looks like. You have your inputs here, one, two, three, and you have your output here, whatever you want it to be. So once again, I have my RGB HV via D sub 15 VGA cable, and I have it outputting as RGB S. Now I don't have an extra BNC cable, so I just use RCA cables and hooked it up to the back of my BVM. Common misconception people have is if you don't have BNC cables, you can't hook up RGBS or whatever. No, uh, as long as you have the BNC to RCA adapters, you should be okay. So. And just to show why I would do this in the first place, uh, mainly emulators, movies, whatever you want. The image looks amazing. So this is something that Although, it's a little out of the way to do, uh, it's interesting, and I'll show you. I'll run uh, an emulator for now. Okay, so I have ZSNES here, and I'll show you the configuration that I used for this. So I'm at two, no, I'm sorry. I'm at 1024 by 768 and I have DRF, which would allow filters, keep an eight by seven ratio and it's full screen. And the filters that I use in particular would be, uh, V-Sync is very important. You need to turn that on. The scan lines, surprisingly don't look very good you know when we're talking about a bvm by default you'd think it generates scan lines but that's only the image that it's fed uh the the laptop here and i know i can go through various other programs to down scale it or whatever but for now it's running at 720p I'm just showing in this video how it looks at 720p with an emulator. Very simple. Alright, let's try one of my favorite games of all time, Mega Man X3 or Rock Man X3. And I'll try playing this one-handed. I have my sound coming from my laptop, so I don't have it hooked up to my uh, a little bar right there. Turning the V-Sync on, as I said, is very important. When I didn't have it on, it looked very choppy, but now that I have it on, it's pixel perfect. Let me just zoom in and show you what it looks like. So, not too bad. Uh, definitely don't see any scan lines, but once again, we're running this at 720p. I can try 
in another video to show how it looks like a 240p. But for now, I just wanted to show off what this Xtron box can really do. And playing one-handed is very difficult. <laughs> I'm gonna die for sure. Yeah, just kidding. There you go. Okay. That's pretty much what I wanted to show. I think this is a great way to hook up your laptop to your BVM. It's very simple. These boxes don't cost very much. I think on average they should cost you maybe about $100. Uh, if you do a little digging, maybe a little less. And just to show you what the green light shows. Shows the horizontal and vertical uh, sync. So, all right guys, I hope this was very helpful for anybody who wants to hook up their BVM or their laptop to their BVM. And uh, leave any questions or comments below. All right, until next time.